Hi guys, this is Mr. Farmer. You all know that I hide my identity and I have been asked multiple times in the comments that where I'm from, where I'm located and which department I work in, etc. I challenged my viewers long back if they find out my details, I will keep revealing my identity one by one. Long back, one of the followers challenged me back that he will find it and if he finds it, I have to post an online training video. Luckily, he found the department last week and like I agreed, I'm posting this video and I'm posting this video of Drug Regulatory Affairs Department, which he and I work for. So if you are a pharma professional, you must know what is a common technical document. If you are a regulatory affairs professional, it is a piece of cake for you. But for freshers, for beginners and students, this small training officially provided by the USFTA will be really helpful in understanding what is a ECTD or also called as electronic common technical document. You will not get a certificate actually, but like I mentioned, this will help you understand what is ECTD and how it works. Welcome guys, this is Pharma Portal, the pharma you need to know, share and grow. So, what is a dossier? A regulatory dossier is a document containing all the necessary information about a drug required by the agency. The dossier will typically contain information about a drug's chemistry, formulation, manufacture, toxicology, pharmacology, pharmacokinetics, and clinical trials. In short, a regulatory dossier is a package of documents which include all the required information regarding newly developed drug products or generics which is required by the regulatory authorities for granting marketing authorization approvals. A dossier is created in an approved organized structure called the CTD structure. Data related to quality, safety and efficacy of the drug product are included in this package which can be submitted in both paper and electronic form in the CTD format which is called as the common technical document. This is generally compiled on any programs and if it is printed as a hard copy then it is called as paper submission and if it is generated as a PDF format and converted into CDs it is called as knee submission and if it is generated using XML backbone that links all the documents within the package it is called as the ECTD submission. So in 2003, the members of the ICH have agreed to assemble all the quality, safety and efficacy information in a common format which is called as CTD. The CTD is the standard format or structure for most of the global medical application. So let us assume that you are planning to submit a drug application to the health authority. Then the application should contain five important components or compartments or folders which is called as the modules of CTD. The five modules of CTD are the module 1, the administrative information and prescribing information, which contains all the administrative information related to the drug, company, etc. Generally has documents like cover letter, application form, etc. This module varies country to country and other modules don't change much. The second module is the common technical document summaries, which contains the summarized information of module 3, 4 and 5, which is also subclassified into 7 sections or folders that is in turn further classified as per the CTD structure. The third module is the quality information, which contains the A to Z information from the drug starting material to the final drug product. The fourth module is called the non-clinical study report which contains information on in vivo or in, vit or in vitro experiments that are studied in test systems under lab conditions to determine their safety. The fifth and final module is called the clinical study reports which contains or provides a clinical statistical information, presentations and analysis of the completed study using the drug. The process of submitting regulatory dossier in the respective country-wise regulatory agency portal is called the regulatory submission. The electronic common technical document is the standard format for submitting application, amendments, supplements and reports to the regulatory health agencies like the US FDA, Health Canada, EMA, etc. The ECTD submission also has the same five modules but in the XML format which is the backbone for linking all the documents. So the advantages of using this ECTD submission instead of the paper submission and e-submissions are like the regulatory agencies can review the updates in real time. The review will be faster, more efficient and it will shorten the time for approval. They can handle, manage and archive the data easily and it is less time consuming. This is also easily accessible for searching and tracking of documents. Countries such as US, Europe, Australia, Canada, South Africa and Japan 
all use ECTD as the standard format for submitting documents because of its advantages. Whereas countries like Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, Vietnam, they follow a separate format called the ACTD format that is called as Asian Common Technical Document Format. But anyways, let us see how to do a basic web-based training that was given by the USFTA about the Electronic Common Technical Document, the ECTD Overview and Submission. Google. Search ECTD Free Training by USFTA. Hit search. Slowly scroll down and then there you will have a website link called accessdata.fta.gov. Click on ECTD and here you will come to the main page of USFTA and you can see this web based training course is there. Click on next. And you can see the multiple modules in this particular course. You can operate one by one, and you can see on the top there are glossary and other subheadings that you can check out. Okay, now let's see one module. So the videos are pretty old, so you will not be able to play the video. So if you want to go back, hit the menu button twice. And you can work on other modules. There will be some question answers. You can also check on that. These modules will give you an overview and submission of uh, ECTD format. Like I mentioned, the videos may not play as the plugins are required. Once you complete the module, click on summary. In the summary, you can see that you have completed that particular web based training course. If you want to check more on paper submission, you can click here. Hope you like this video. Encourage us by hitting the like button. If you have any questions, post it in the comments and share this video to your friends and family. Most importantly, subscribe and press the bell icon for regular notifications from our Pharma Portal channel. Bye.